Separate. giving the rights and uh, promotions and uh, permissions and uh, to women. It is uh, not separatistic in a way, not co 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 uh, cooperating and working together with other LGBT organizations, but the values of, of our organization are only feministic. Uh, because we are built on the on the back of the feminism, which has the most politics that we can represent as lesbians, and this is anti-militarism, anti-racism, anti-nationalism, and anti any discrimination. And we really didn't find any other ideolo ideology, philosophy, politics that can really be um, true for believing and can be. Uh, presented as a as a good thing, yeah. Because all LGBT movement in Serbia, in the region of ex Yugoslavia, and in the world should be yeah uh, doing good things. So if you want to do good things, so you should really not discriminate, um, uh, hate, uh, and whatever other people do. So. In Serbia, everything is in the people. I don't know how is it is in your country, but it's, everything is personal. I can be a politician from very democratic left-hand party, but me personally, I can be homophobic. Homophobic? How come? So, in a in a war that we are really living in, fighting for our rights, we decided to go through mud, being on the streets not going, you know, many high levels further as some gay men and gay, only gay organizations can do, so showing so, such a wrong picture of the context we are living in, being highly mainstream and very good, friendly with politics, with um, politicians who were like 10 years ago or 20 years ago in Serbia there was war. When, when we fell apart, Yugoslavia when fell apart, we had Croatia, Slovenia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Bosnia, and Kosovo, and, up, and after that, there is only Serbia. Everybody are gone. <laughs> so you can just, I want to tell you that you can feel the war air still there, and nationalism, and um, the context that children are raised uh, from their childhood, and women, and men, they are really militaristic and nationalistic. How can we resist uh, such a life uh, we are living and be visible to resist in every day, in every action, in you know, every showing up on the streets with some uh, actions or just gathering somewhere as lesbians? It's a kind of revolution. So we like the smell of revolution, we like to cause it, we like to make it even if it is not uh, um, there. So I brought here the, to present myself and to present this, uh, my organization through this poster. I hope there is at least uh, parole, parole, parole. Uh, so I will present myself and my organization through parole, the words and the kind of statements that are clearly showing what we are doing. The most discussable <coughs> picture is the picture of the vagina. Yeah, you can you can take them. Um, you can share like at yeah, least sorry. each each for organization. Well for you. Yeah. Well for you. <laughs> yeah. I will I will read you what is there. So so we can discuss them. Uh, the 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 statements the politics. The things we want to live as a woman, as lesbian, as anything than heterosexual, is <laughs> say what you want even if your voice is shivering. This is the first, first note. This is the message we want to give to women, to, to, to everybody. Uh -huh. okay. This one is say what you want even if your voice is shivering. Women don't have a voice in Serbia. Women can't scream. Women are oppressed. 
women are, you know, as, as Christy said, not visible. How come that we don't have a history? You know, we have history. We have history that we are not important, that, that lesbians and women are margin of the margins margin. And that's why you don't know in Albania what is the history of the lesbian. That's why we don't know in Serbia what happened 150 years ago. So that's why we choose the feminism which gives us a tools, a brain, tell us we are, we are clever, we can do it, and we will go backwards and find this history. That's why we need female voices to be heard. The second is just a message make. Some are feminist, some are lesbian. Uh, among women, the tenderness is more tender. Yeah? Why? Because since 2004, there are so many lesbians coming to our organization saying, I'm not lesbian, but I'm sleeping with, with women. And then once we had 120 women coming, like, women, sleeping with women on the party, and four of us, like feminist lesbians, were looking around and I said, we are the only lesbians here, huh? <laughs> Everybody was kissing, everybody was dancing together, you know, it was lesbian party, so say, come on. <laughs> so we need to learn to say the word lesbian still, no matter it's 21st century, it's not accepted, yeah? The third one is, I can love myself the same way that women can love me. We still need these messages, yeah? This message. It says, I can love myself the same way that women can love me, as much as women can love me. So, Audre Lorde. I don't know, do you know who is Audre Lorde? How many of you? Okay, only women. <laughs> so, such a shame. Because, because the movement of uh, feminist movement has a history in the movement of leaving, to, to giving the freedom to live in the black movement somewhere else. We, we didn't invent it today. No matter which country we are coming from, no matter are we a uh, religious country or not, we, we have a history together somewhere else where the first life is liberated from being killed just because being different. This is all our history. Yeah? And I like what Aza said on the beginning, like having a spirit. We can have a we can have a spirit, but not until the men, the gay men, don't recognize lesbians or women the same way as women recognize themselves. I think we have a gay patriarchy still going on. We have um, uh, small visibility of lesbians in any religion, in any country, and uh, why? Because the same thing that the history or history is saying, we don't have lesbians 200, 200 years ago, 50 years ago in Albania, hell not. Yeah? So there is, but we, were, we had a right to vote recently somewhere. We had the right to be educated very recently somewhere. Somewhere is not even, you know? So I'm trying to, nine minutes, 35 seconds. Uh, I'm strong, I'm ambitious. I'm exactly what I want to be, and if they, this makes me a bitch, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is really what I think. Uh, Don't make compromises. You are everything what you have. Uh, yeah, I will translate first. Oh, my address is like my shoes, traveling with me. I, my home is where the fight for women is. You, you recognize some of the feminists. So my shoes are traveling with me and my home is somewhere where the fight for women is. This is Pussy Riot photo uh, here, you can see. Look at me as you never saw a woman before. Why? Because if men are looking at a woman like me in Serbia, what the hell, you know? I can't be me, so we ask lesbians, we let lesbians, we want lesbians to feel free as a woman, to look at the woman without a shame that they love them. You know, we want in our work to rip off the shame, whatever the choices in our lives are. Uh, I like everything what people said, and I like the transparency here, because 
um, I wanted to, to, to share the story about my organization, but I'm off the time. And I wanted to say something what is maybe important uh, for all of you. I spoke a uh, little bit, I, I forgot your name. Uh, uh, I, I spoke about the gypsy woman. We all forgot them. Serbia, Albania, all Balkan are full of gypsies. They even don't have their country. No, 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 not gypsy king. Gypsy, Roma people. So what in the last few years my organization is trying to do is to give dignity, to give uh, importance to also those who even hardly can't present their language. It's not standardized. Gypsy women don't have a country to come from. They are everywhere nobody. They are everywhere strangers. But they are, with their generations, living longer than my family in Serbia, you know? So this kind of discrimination that gypsy or Roma women can have today, it's what we all have. And this is how my organization is working. If we are working in the mud, if we want to be on the streets, in, if we 90% have guerrilla actions and lie to donors that we are doing lobby and the blockers and blah, 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 and still providing the psychological uh, support to lesbians in transition of coming out or being out is why we will exist. It's the thing that we will do always, because no matter how civilization is growing, how the gay questions are implanted in the European Union, anywhere like that we are presented with our ties, dicks, and everything in the you know, European Union, Brussels, it's not good. Still, we are discriminating. Yeah, just... Uh, you know, <coughs> I'm saying, I'm speaking from the Serbian context. Yeah. So this this harmony in among us, among LGBT movement, will not let us go any further, and we won't feel accept them individually a good. We won't feel worth of what we are doing if we really don't think about every single person that can come to our organization. And if we don't have problems because we don't have capacity, we won't lie. We won't put this T in the in the work of our organization just because we can get more funds. But we will do something else. We will say, okay, we can have a two times a week a drop-in center for transgenders, for others, to collect, to see, can we what you can do, but we are not educated to work with you. I, I, I can't um, motivate myself to work and be honest with the work, things I'm doing if, if, if really I don't motivate people to come out with their sexuality. And I think there is a letter more than in Abeceda, you know, about the di diversities of sexuality we all have. Yeah, we're going partially, we're living partially. How come that now, I don't know, five years ago we started to deal with the transgender. Why? Because we were homo transphobic. I was transphobic. I mean, I was. You know, I was not educated. So I think that the kind of work that organizations need to do in each country need to be motivated for any kind of sexuality that we comes under the human rights. And you know what I mean? And maybe I will define myself differently, and I would love to, you know, live a life uh, as I wish that every lesbian live a life fluidly, spiritually, without thinking uh, uh, how to hide herself to have the silent sex. You know? Do you know the syndrome cat on the on the window? No. No. Um, we use it on the balcony when lesbians are hiding, hiding to have sex. Like my friend is sleeping over my place tonight. When cat jumps on the window, the lesbians are standing up, dressing, and and having the fear that somebody is on the door. You know. So let's live our lives, all of us, no matter. I don't care. I don't know what I will experiment in my life, really. But let's not live lives with the you know syndrome of the cat on the window jumping up cutting this good sex we hardly found in our lives, 
you know? <laughs> no, I mean, come on. Uh, so that, that's, that's the kind of message that my organization that's wants to say 15 minutes, 60 minutes, stop. So <laughs> I see nine minutes from you, but we can discuss, we can, we can speak. I just like the grassroots work, and I, my organization don't know to do anything else but, but supporting the, the, the core, giving the core support to lesbians and others who are not heterosexual.